440, 450. I touched the dirt. I touched the dirt. Dead. No. No. Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator, where recently we've been building some ridiculous cars. Our Ford Mustang's got 50,000 horsepower. Our Prius has 100,000 horsepower. And I was thinking we could do better than that today. Yeah, this won't go well. All right, off to the junkyard. <laughs> this is what I wanted to check out today. This is an old school, oh, okay, older Dodge Charger. We're missing a door for some reason. I have no tires on my passenger side. I, o I only have one tire. Starting price, three and a half thousand bucks. Okay, let's go. I think what, like 15K would probably be pretty fair for this thing? Never mind. 16? Who's outbidding me? 24. 24? Thank you. Bro, I just overpaid to the max for this thing. You know it's gonna be a rough day when the charger shows up on blocks to the garage. Oh boy. The first thing we've got to do is give this thing a car wash. It's gross. Anyways, what is really, really nice about the Dodge Charger in this game is it's actually got a ton of customization. I'm gonna need Twitch Chat's help to figure out what we actually want to do with this thing. Step number two for our Dodge Charger is to bring over this. This is the welder. I can use the welder to get rid of all of the rust on the frame of the car. My front bumper now no longer has any rust. That's looking good. My actual frame and the roof, that's looking a thousand times better. And now I've got to start ripping off body panels. It's not in very good condition, this thing. Last piece, a little bit of a side skirt and and, oh, and my headlights. Cannot forget about my headlights. I was about to say, let's get rid of our wheels. In this case, let's get rid of our wheel. <laughs> oh, we're gonna lose so much money. Obviously, our brakes are gonna have to go. Those are sus. Our suspension, like our shock is a bit sus. Our steering, yeah, that's gotta go. Yeah, that's gotta go as well. Uh, the exhaust, yeah, yep, that's gonna have to go. I think we definitely do need to give this thing the used car special, though. We need to maximize profit and screw over our customers at the same time. All right, let's also get rid of my exhaust since I'm actually working under here right now. Catalytic converters, we're not gonna need those anyway. You're never actually gonna see any of this because we're gonna have our wheels, we're gonna have our brakes, we're gonna have our shocks. All of that stuff is gonna kind of stop you from seeing in here. You might be saying, but Nick, isn't that a little bit of a liability? Like, isn't that dangerous? It, yep. Uh, coolant reservoir. It didn't even have any coolant in it, so that's a bit sus. Someone says Nick should never be a doctor, bro. Imagine me as a doctor. Ah, that broken bone. You'll never see it. Hey, Dr. Nick, I've got a bit of a cough. What can you tell me to do? Stop. Don't look at it. People do have two kidneys, right? You could do weight reduction on a person. Unethical weight loss tips with Nick. All right, moving on. I think I'm going to retire as Dr. Nick. I'm not going to lie. I don't want anybody to see my used car special. So I'm going to rebuild my rear suspension as quickly as possible. If you've ever wanted a very fast way to fix all of that, go to your wheel hub, get a brand new one, and suddenly can't see it anymore. That's called thinking outside the box. See, you don't get this sort of advice on like mighty car mods. Just like that, wait, wait. Just like that, there is no more rust on this side of the vehicle. Top 10 ways to die, buy a used car from the Nicky Poo used car dealer. So now that we've got our rear suspension on, I do want to get an engine into this thing. So what engines can I actually have? V8 DOHC AXK and a V8 DOHC supercharged. I think the choice is obvious. I've already got a supercharged engine. Hello, Mustang. Nothing to see. I'm just about to go and yeet the engine from this thing. We've stolen the entire gearbox, and now we're about to steal the entire engine. It is a bit of a big engine in there. All right. Whoop, whoop, whoop. No! All right. Pull out game for the new engine is looking good. Engine crane. Install the engine. V8 DOHC supercharged. So our new engine is in. This is only its first form. Just wait for what this thing's gonna look like. Since we've actually been going to the junkyard so much recently, we've got a ton of leftover parts. So 
I don't think I'm actually going to need to buy anything to fix up this charger. So that's going to actually save us more money. This is day four of me asking the developers to make customizable suspension so I could raise and lower my ride height in the game. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. That would be really cool. I think we're looking good on our suspension. There's our wheel. That was way, way too fast. I 100% forgot something, right? I'm just going to ignore that. I will definitely figure out if I forgot something when I try to drive it. For now, let's get my exhaust in and let's actually go for a performance exhaust. So just this front exhaust pipe, that adds 2% horsepower and I've got two of them, so 4%. Same thing for my catalytic converters, which I unfortunately need to have. My middle muffler, same thing. Exhaust pipe and my rear mufflers, just the rear mufflers at 3.5%. I've also got the custom gearbox that we use for our Ford Mustang installed on this thing. That way I can tune all of my gears and actually hit a decent top speed. Just like that, our entire suspension is in. Uh... Please ignore my fuel tank. Coolant reservoir, definitely need that. Brake servo, I definitely want to be able to stop. Our engine bay is looking fantastic. I think we already need to get some wheels on this thing. Actually, I don't know if there's a wide body kit for this. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to throw some random rims on this. And then we'll do all of our body mods. And then we'll come back in a second and get some actual wheels. I think the same way we did with our Prius and our Mustang, I think we need to make our Dodge Charger look absolutely insane. You know what? I guess let's start with some fenders, actually. Look at all these. One, two, three, four, five, six different fenders. Let's start with the 392. 392 is very normal. It's got the 392 badge, but I think we can get something a little cool. How about this Hellcat one? The Hellcat one could be cool. Yeah, that's not bad, actually. Last but not least, what is this DTM one? Yo, that is wide body. Yo, look at all that airflow going in there. It is really, really lifted up, though. I'm seeing a whole bunch of DTM in chat. That's fair. A lot of the time, we do run, like, standard Hellcat wide body. So, let's spice it up a little bit. So, we've got an SRT hood and a Super B hood. I never like putting carbon fiber hoods on in this game. So, a lot of Twitch chat wants SRT. Let's go SRT. I love a Super B, but I, I get it. Like... That's pretty cool. I think DTM is going to be the play. Like, oh, wow. Wow, that's actually really nice. The carbon fiber canards, those are going to pop when we get some paint jobs on this. I love this tow hook. That looks awesome. Okay, we need a front end. Let's start it off with the cop one. Oh, that's sick. Oh my god, that's so cool. It's like a cop car on steroids. Look at the rear door. We've got DTM rear doors. Bro, that's pretty sick. That's so wide. That's unbelievably wide. Cop lights. Oh my god, that's so sick. That's so cool. I love the spotlight. That's such a flex. Trunk, we only actually have two different options. We've got regular or carbon fiber. I'm just gonna go regular. And then I can get my Hellcat... I don't need a Hellcat spoiler. I don't, I don't, I don't need one. DTM rear bumper. I think we're just going full DTM build. And I think last but not least, I need some side skirts. Rear fender, DTM. Bro, that's crazy. That's so wide. That's so sick looking. You know what's crazy? My tires almost fit. Anyways, before we move on, I need to get some better fitting tires. So... Let's take this back inside real quick. Those are some big boys. I think what I've accidentally built here is a drag racing cop who also races in DTM on the weekend. Yo, that's actually my fitment is like perfect. That's so sick. Okay, let's do let's do the same for the front. Are we going to call it the NCPPD? <laughs> Those will actually fit really well, I think, when we lower it down. Okay, I definitely need to lower them down a lot more especially our front. We gotta have a cop livery for this, right? Don't do me dear. Oh my God, that's so, that's so nice. Wow, that's so nice. Hello. Oh, that's a super B paint job. That's so cool. That's so sick. Yes, man, that's awesome. Real quick, let me go and lower this thing down a little bit. And, and we gotta fix up that engine bay. Whoopsies. Uh, that's, I, I, 
I may have bottled. Uh, edit, edit, edit. Nothing to see. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that stance. Fully scraping the ground. We do still have some space in there, but I mean, DTM be DTM. And our engine is not that ridiculous. I mean, it's still ridiculous, but it's not that ridiculous. Let's go take this thing to the dyno. How fast is it? Why? 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 What did I forget? Battery? Do I have a battery? Did I did I really not put a battery? That would certainly do it. Battery. <laughs> Again, I am a professional. Yeah, that was uh that was a rookie mistake right there. That one was my bad as well. I would say probably like a thousand five hundred horsepower. A thousand six hundred horsepower. Away we go. That's so loud. Why is it so loud? Turn it down a bit. Let's see what you got with the massive rear wing. The body kit that literally scrapes the ground 200 miles an hour in fourth gear. And I haven't even done anything. So off, off, off. Got a problem. It did really well, right? Whoa. No, oh, never mind. It decided it wanted to be a Mustang. Come on. No, 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 no. That was pretty cool. As it turns out, if you've got 1,600 horsepower all to the back, Back wheels, well, that, that that does tend to happen. So I think I should make it all-wheel drive instead. I'm not gonna lie, I will be surprised if this thing even, like, turns on. 175,000 horsepower. Welcome to the world's most powerful vehicle, I think, probably in the entire world. No joke, I actually love the way this thing turned out. Anyways, let's give this thing a go, rev it up. It didn't break. It didn't break. I thought it was gonna crash the game if I just pressed the gas, but I guess not. Okay. The fastest speed we were able to do out here before was like 300, 400 miles an hour. Let's see if we can beat that today. 350 already, 360 miles an hour, 440, 450. I touched the dirt. I touched the dirt. Dead. No. 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just put 175,000 horsepower in a car. I'm sure it'll go well. 350 miles an hour. 360, 370. I feel like an auctioneer. 400, 400 going once. 410, 420, 430. Okay, keep going. Try to make it go in a straight line again. 500 miles an hour as we went into ninth gear. Okay, go. Go, go ninth gear, go ninth gear, 500 miles an hour, 510, 550. I just, I just, uh, um, I just broke the map barrier. I just broke the map barrier at 516 miles an hour. Um, um, wait, what? <laughs> What, what what happened over here? It's genuinely Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. The road gets smaller <laughs> as you get further away. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get back through, right? I'm fully gonna hit this wall. I fully hit the land it. Oh, so close! 175,000 horsepower versus a sand dune. Who will win? What can possibly go wrong? Okay, turn, turn, jump. Apparently that's what can go wrong. Decently drivable probably isn't the best description for a car. 400 miles an hour. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. That's a big crash. Whoa, whoa. Landed it! How much is this thing worth? That is our final question. I would say I'd be really happy with like 80, 90,000. 142 grand! The Nick used car special doing me proud.